Hey folks, Father Sumputi from City Virus here. Today we're going to create a geometry node to create a pixel depth offset technique. With this technique, um, what we can do is basically we can put uh, our stuff in the ground and it will look like the objects are mixed and integrated with the ground shatter. So you can see an example in the screen. So first thing we are going to download on uh, this geometry node and we will see the usage and then we are going to create a making of as well. So let's get started. You can download the blend file from here. Okay, the link will be in the description and uh, I have already downloaded it. So let's go to Blender and uh, let's see. So here is our uh, tutorial file and uh, you can see it's uh, pretty simple. If I go to the shadow editor now, you can see that what is happening here is pretty basic uh, PBO shadow okay base color and uh, roughness and normal and this is a stone it's also basic base color roughness and normal so now we're going to select this one and we're going to start working first thing is basically let's select this one the rock and let's go to uh, these data object properties and create a vertex group I'm going to name it something like Prox V group. Um, something like that. There we go. And let's get a water scala here. And I'm going to name it Prox V comp. Something like that. Okay. These are arbitrary names. So now let's select this one and let's get a geometry node from the geometry node editor. Okay. And let's spin it. All right. So let's append, press F4, append, and I'm going to append our uh, this one geometry color offset, uh, pixel depth offset, and let's go to the node tree and you will find ground color blend node. So let's append it here. Now, if I go for searching ground color blend, you will get it here. Okay, so the ground is this, the blend, the vertex group is um prox v group here yeah, the vertex group and this is the vertex color is prox v color there you go okay prox v color so let's save it and now let's see now we need to go to the shadow editor to see our effect so let's go to the shadow editor and uh, this is our stone so now let's go for Let's go for a vortex color and you will find this vortex color here, the prox V call. So if I go for color now, you can see the thing. Okay, there we go. Simple. So it is creating a factor for you. Right? And uh, if I go for R, you can see the hair setup and things, everything here. If I go from here, you can see it here. So we are going to use this factor. So how can we use it? All right. Let's get the this ground snow. Okay. So this is the ground snow, and uh, what we can do here is basically to create an uh, instance of it. What we can do is basically I'm going to group it. Okay. From here to here. Okay. And I'm going to group it. Press Ctrl G to create a group. So I don't need any group input because we're going to use it later. So I'm just going to name it snow group. Okay, there we go. So now uh, this is the snow material. And if you want to edit it, you can go to the press tab and you can create it uh, however you want to. Okay. All right. Suppose we need uh, just to show you here. Uh, suppose metallic. Here it is metallic. Okay. So something like that. All right. So it's a kind of uh, unconventional uh, to create a group like this, but we are going to make it like this because we want to use it with factor. And now let's go to this factor. Okay. And what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to create a mix shadow here. Mix shadow. All right. And now I'm just going to create uh, append this group we have that is called a snow group. Okay. So this is now not a clone. This is an instance. I'm going to show you later. So I just want to give it this here and give it this here. Okay. And I'm just going to create a factor here. So now if I see it 
here we will see it in action okay so now you're seeing your stuff here okay so let's flip it and let's see there we go all right so here is the first thing first task is done okay now we're going to create some normal setup let's see uh, before going to normal let's see uh, i'm in this snow uh this uh you know uh this is stone okay stone shatter and this is our snow group if i go here press tab you can change it from snow shatter as well it will change all over the places that means it is not a clone it is an instance how it would be cloned is basically if you press 2 then it will become a clone and uh, it will change independently but we are creating an instance not a clone so that's how you can use it uh, with your material setup here okay because all the setups are there so you just you, you know, we're just you know packing it nothing else all right so now let's create the normal so let's go here okay select it and uh, we're going to create a modifier here unfortunately we could not do it uh, with geometry node right now because uh, we don't have attribute we have attribute transfer but the normal map e normal is not changeable in geometry node for now so we're going to see it later if it changes but i mean 2.93 and uh, till now it is not changed all right so to hack it what we're going to do is basically we're going to create a modifier and we're going to create a data transfer modifier after the geometry node okay and what we're going to do is basically we're going to source these plane okay we're going to create mix node replace vortex group will be our box v group we have created and uh, this will be checked face corner data and we're going to create a custom normal there we go now you're seeing your normal data so if i press the toggle overlay off and uh, you can see your stuff there we go all right so it will mix and match your stuff with it all right there you go. okay so now it's uh everything about you know creating the scarf and the stuff so let's see uh, for this particular project what we're doing is basically we're creating a color ramp here uh, let's go to shadow editor directly and uh, what we're doing actually let's go to the layout yeah because I'm comfortable with this thing and uh, let's turn it off here all right so what we're going to do here is basically we're going to create a ramp node here color ramp so let's create a color ramp ramp and uh, let's plug it here and my test was this one is black is good okay I want to create another instance here and uh, this will be somewhere here and the value was something like 0.39 so let's get 0.39 I'm just replicating my own shadow here and this was in 0.751 with value 1 so 0.751 with value 1 and uh, this was 0.498 so let's name it 0.498 so it will create a you know a ramp basic ramp to create some instance uh, it's all about your uh, experiment experimentation so now let's get a noise texture here noise texture and i'm going to give it 23.5 so let's go for 24 and detail 2 roughness 0.5 distortion 0 all right and now i'm going to create an rgb curve actually let's uh, create the multiply first so let's create a mix rgb and i'm going to connect it with this and this is going to be here and factor one and let's wait yeah and uh, it will be overlay okay all right let's see all right there we go so it is creating something like this okay some kind of distortion here and uh, 
for more distortion we're creating an RGB curve actually let's turn it to curve RGB curve there we go and uh, we're giving it uh, something like this and something like this and something like this and maybe something like this okay to create a much more detailed factor here so if you want to see it you can see it how it is working okay there it is all right there you go all right so if i come to uh, press shift d if you want to shift d you can create another one press s and let's go for something like this okay there you go let's press shift g and something like this and maybe shift d to create some more variation okay you can also actually join all of them all together so if i go here press tab and uh, actually let's press ctrl j to join it there we go so everything is same here all right there we go okay done and other things are actually all about your tweaking how however you want to tweak it you can do it like this and this so we're just giving it some noise to create some much more interest here okay just something like that all right done so now let's see the making of so fortunately the geometry node is pretty much simple so let's create a geometry node here and uh, what i'm going to do here is basically create a attribute proximity node proximity and i'm going to connect it here and let's go for object info to instance our object here and this will be our object set it to relative um okay first uh, let's see uh, what need to be done is basically geometry to target and for distance what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to use these uh let me see i'm going to use the vertex group so this is the prox v group here we have created earlier here prox v group and <coughs> other things are um attribute mix we are going to create a attribute mix here let's get a mix and uh, it will be a factor float a attribute b attribute factor should be one and this will become our color that is prox v call we have created here so we're going to transfer these prox v group here to prox v color to see our input so if i go here now okay if i go to the vertex color in shadow you can see that we're seeing some stuff here some stuffs are there okay but not everything because this object needs to be relative otherwise okay if i rotate it it will become global so that's why we need this uh, relative space that is the local space local space all right so that's how we are creating this stuff here so the factor is pretty easy that is the proxy color okay the proxy color and the proxy group that is this color this vertex color is replacing with these um uh, you know the vertex group and resulting it in a vertex color again and we are just outputting it with proxy call all right so that's how we're creating it and the distance is proxy group and you can see this proxy group is actually a float okay so we're creating it like that using proximity node oh uh, this will be edges okay and uh, now what we need to do is basically we're going to create a 
attribute math note letter y let's see now we're going to create a modifier first and let's go to the data transfer and uh, let's go to the source this is the ground replace bodice group proxy group and let's go to the face corner data here and create a custom normal so now if I go here you can see that it needs an inversion because uh, this data is coming from a invert in channel so to invert our proximity data what we need to do is basically we need to create a math node attribute math node all right and this math node we are going to subtract uh, a float value that is one one minus our proximity proxy prox v group and resulted to proxy group so essentially what it is doing is basically one minus proxy group that is invert okay so this is the invert maps you can do it with it so yeah that's how we're creating it why we are using invert because it is not needed but this data transfer needs inversion here so that's why we're using this invert node here nothing else so what is actually uh, happening here the thing is pretty much simple we are creating a distance from this geometry to this geometry okay from stone to ground we are creating a proximity distribution and creating a distance all right with distance we are inverting this distance the float the floats uh, inverting the distance and we are just outputting it to a color vertex color and we're seeing this vertex color from here okay here yeah. all right done and then other things are pretty much fun uh, pretty much you know same here yeah. okay whatever we have done here so this is the uh, this is how you can actually output your vertex color as well okay from a vertex group to a vertex color First, create a group and then create a vertex color, and then you can see your vertex color here as well. Okay, <coughs> now let's pack it. Okay, the packing is also simple. Let's um, go for this and let's press Ctrl G to group it and press N. And this is going to be an object. I'm going to name it ground object or ground color picker and distance this is going to be vertex group this will go l uh, here B and here B and here and let's create a box call and it will be connected with here as well and this will be vertex color all right done now create a fake group and name it whatever you want to all right and uh, that's it so i'm father simple from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye